coming in in this opening game. Lot 15. Mm, bit of a murmur around the crowd. There was a bit of a lazy, lazy second serve. Maybe a little nervous. All players are nervous, no matter how good they are. Before you have to be nervous. You have to get that adrenaline going. There's a drop shot. Love 13. And Murray paying the price that time. It's just a little bit too deep. Mel's a very quick player on the court too. He gets here in a lot of time. The ball's still quite high on the bounce. Fairly quiet start to the match. Cook back. Two handed backhand of Meltzer's can do a lot of damage though. Yes, he really does attack the ball, and uh, as I was saying against Baghdadis, that's what he did really from both wings. He was trying to hit the ball very hard off the ground. But uh, at the love 30, Murray has game point. for the game. First game. Well, I said a little bit of a quiet start to the match as we look at the Murray serve here. And uh, that's a shot that's improved with his build up, his uh, fitness uh, regime. Billy Connolly in the audience today. Well, he'll be here to support uh, Andy Murray, Phyllis Scott, <laughs> the unmistakable visage of the, uh, the Scottish comedian. When uh, Melzer was playing Baghdadis, they did a uh, run around the uh, stadium with the camera and uh, noticed uh, Andy's mother watching Baghdadis Melzer doing a little bit of scouting. I thought that interesting, particularly after the interview with Murray in his previous match when he said he supports staff and he said, well, you can't really count mum as the part of the support staff. She is my mother after all. <laughs> yeah, but she works overtime. Forehand down the line. 
Yeah, Dennis Mills the 29, the oldest man left in the tournament, as Gary said. Murray's just 23, been around a long time. We've talked about him for years. Thirty long. Regardless of the outcome of this match, Melzer will be elevated into the top ten rankings in the world for the first time ever. Well, if that's any indication, we're going to be here for a while. Superb ground strokes there, uh, particularly from Melzer, who dictated the rally here. He really had uh, Murray backwards and forwards across the court. You can see the short angle there, getting Murray well outside the uh, singles court there. He couldn't control it. Oh, full tee fifteen. Took that a little casually, Melza. Listen, against Baghdadis, this wasn't one of his best shots. The drop shot, the. Doesn't have uh, the greatest of touch, that one missing by quite a bit in that uh, drop shot attempt. Ah. And that's that. One game all. A rather a sub subdued start, I guess, uh, because the crowd have just witnessed a big uh, five-set men's singles in the first round, first match here today as we look at the replay. We don't actually, but um, yeah, they've gone out for a bit of a lunch and uh, a drink and <coughs> so the stadium only uh, probably less than half full, so just a little bit subdued and that's probably rubbing off on the players. Great smash, really, from Murray. Not a lot of uh, power, but he cleverly put a lot, more, a lot of spin on the ball. And uh, actually, you'll see here on this great shot, I love this shot, that uh, Melzer fakes him out here and then goes the right way. Murray puts a lot of spin on the ball on this particular smash here. And although Melzer's running the right way, he still can't get it. It was great control. Austrians haven't had a player in the top 10 rankings in the world since Thomas Muster over a decade ago. Wasn't he a machine? He was a, on the clay courts. He was a bit like Nadal. He would go through, go through the clay court season uh, undefeated. Let's the service. Through those early events, Monte Carlo and that swing through Rome.
Frau Zeller. Most is out here too. He's uh, in Australia. He had a hit with Bernard Tommy last week. Gay Murray. So on serve, 2-1, two two first, first set, taking first time set. to develop. Yes, Thomas Muster uh, actually has spent uh, quite a bit of time out here. He owned a couple of properties up at Noosa and uh, sold one several years ago and I uh, noticed the other one on the market now or was recently sold. Uh, he's here playing in the Legends doubles as well. He had a remarkable career, Thomas, because he was he had a leg crushed between two cars at a tournament. He was getting luggage out of the boot of a car and another car reversed into him and had to undergo surgery to rebuild a knee and then made a comeback. Uh, but he was so tough he could run through brick walls, that man. And uh, Melzer proving just as Ladies tough at the veteran stage quickly, of uh, his career. Thank you. crowd at the uh, tournament again today enjoying the conditions uh, there's a prospect possible showers but uh, not yet anyway we've had overcast occasional bursts of sunshine but primarily cloudy conditions and reasonably uh, mild please be seated as soon as you can especially at the back of the court thank you Good, yep. It wasn't Melzer holding things up, it was Murray. There was movement in his line of sight. And he had to fend that volley almost off his face. The ball came straight at him, Melzer. Good job. 15 long. Yes, that rule of, uh, as we look at the replay here, um, came in a few years ago of uh, no change after the, no sit down after the first game. Been very well accepted on the tour right from uh, day one. Great shot. You just to finish that thought, the only uh, probably repercussions from it is that uh, in all matches uh, at three love, you get a lot of crowd movement, people coming in after leaving the stadium and can't get back in until they all come in at the same time and slow things down. As we see this angled backhand here, Murray anticipating but still couldn't get there. He got such a shock that he almost missed the previous uh, shot, Melzer, that he's made the mistake on the final. Yes, he took a very casual approach to the smash. Now, he almost thought he'd hit the ball out on the smash, and then when he had to play the volley, he really wasn't ready for it. Bit of a messy point for the Austrian. Well, he doesn't want to lose his focus here. 30 love. A couple of loose points.
13-14. Well, talk about make uh, some unforced errors all in a row here. 30 love up and then uh, three really loose points. Gives Andy Murray a break point here from nothing. Murray was really looking for a forehand here. We'll have a look here. Uh, he really goes towards that forehand side, and uh, Melza must see that out the corner of his eye because he hits it perfectly. Advantage Murray. Swinging volley here, probably doesn't quite get enough pace on it. It's been a little bit too much spin, but uh, almost unanswerable. This shot from Murray, great play. Let Mets for service. Murray draws first blood. Murray leads three games to one. Well, that was a very loose game from Mills. Uh, that'll be very disappointing for him. Uh, 30 love up on serve, then played a loose smash and a volley to lose that point, then uh, just let the game run away. Murray came up with a pass that he had to make, the backhand cross court. So. Uh, Good effort from him, but disappointing from Mel's point of view. With the volley off the hip, just Love couldn't handle it. Last game, uh, Murray just feeling that right Achilles, really, I guess, at the back of the leg. Got the other ankle strapped. job by Murray to retrieve that the forehand drive by Melza and just drop it back at Melza's feet at the net. Superb defence. You can see how far he is behind the baseline. He's in the shadow there of the roof, so he's a long way back. He's able to pull it down to Melza's half volley there on the backhand. And a very tough shot to play, uh, particularly when you try to take the pace off it. He was going for a drop shot off that half volley, and that's uh, very, very difficult. There's one ball out of circulation here. Yeah. Only five balls in play. One of them disappeared behind the ball guard. Three points back, and the ball boy didn't uh, couldn't find it. Disappeared under the uh, the padding at the back of the court.
Oh, gee. There was no room for error on that shot from Melzer. 13 I was saying earlier, that's not, uh, his touch is not the ball that good at times. And this one, a slice little drop shot off the forehand side. Most difficult side to play it off. And he hits it absolutely perfect. Uh, gets around it. Gee, that caught Murray by surprise, that one. Break back point for Melzer. with a vengeance by the Austrian to get back. Murray leads three games to two. Well, they're warming to the task now, these two. Well, they are. It's a little bit of an indifferent uh, sort of a game from Murray here. That He was... Uh, Struggling around uh, the back of the court, as you can see, and uh, did feel his ankle there, his right ankle, around about the Achilles uh, area. I don't know if that sort of took his focus a bit, but, but good play from Mills. He plays this little forehand drop shot, which was a beauty. And like a lot of left handers, a very fluid game he has. Great hitter of the ball, very attacking game. He's down four love in matches against Murray. Murray is a quickly fast please. to serve. Thank you. Time. Uh -huh. Well, seemingly against the odds, heavy overcast early uh, and a forecast of uh, showers possible. Uh, but cloud cover's uh, continuing to break up. Getting more sunshine although we've just got uh, half sunshine at the moment but uh, conditions are very very good very pleasant perfect conditions for tennis Love 15. Yes, I'm sure the players have done a lot of work and preparing for the heat of Melbourne they've encountered some Horrendous days here in uh, years gone by, over 40 degree days, but thankfully none this tournament so far. Oh. Andy Murray spends his time in Florida now in the uh, winter time. Still cool there, it's only you were saying yesterday it's 65 degrees, but certainly warmer than London at this time, and that's where he lives in Europe, in London. Three kinds of people live in Florida, retirees, Cubans and tennis players. There's a lot of tennis players there, that's for sure, and golfers. It's a good place actually, uh, Florida, around that area to be because it's fairly central to, well certainly near airports, international airports, and you can get to Europe much quicker than you can from Australia obviously, and uh, so a lot of the Aussies live in Florida as well. Let this have this. again. Murray leads for game to two. And a bit of a shocker from Melzer. Yeah, it's dropped his serve to love that time and uh, some loose tennis again. I just feel that uh, 
the, the players look like they're just a little bit flat. Uh, I haven't seen any great fire from either of them yet. You saw that photo of Murray on the magazine there. He couldn't believe how he could open his mouth that far in that particular shot. Quite a, quite a photo. It's gone all around the world, that one. Probably not his best uh, picture. Good pressure from Murray. Short ball comes in, says pass me if you can. Hasn't won a point in the last two games. Okay, we're looking at Mills's shot placement here, and uh, as you can see, he's trying to get the ball over the uh, service line. That's really a cut-off point on a tennis court. If you can get it over there, you, that's that's trying to get that deep, trying to keep the ball back. And here is uh, is Murray. And, uh, He's directing a lot of his shots to the wings of the court, out to the forehand side there, 63%. And it's the backhand side, in fact, of Mel's being the left-hander. So Murray putting the ball out to the, concentrating on the backhand side. That's the shot to attack. Scottish flag. It's flying high at the moment. It's five games to two in the first set. Andy Murray, the number five seed over Jürgen Melzer. He's had a bit of a leg up from Melzer. The Austrian uh, is just not on his game. He did break back initially. Murray held the lead three games to one. Melzer broke back, but then Murray again without difficulty. And broke the Austrian serve, and in fact, as I said, hasn't conceded a point in breaking serve or in holding his subsequent service game. been coached by Joachim Nistrum, one of the very popular Swedish players that uh, was forever here in Australia through the mid to late 80s, early 90s. The finalist in the uh, Australian Open doubles one year. Nistrum, partnered Mats Wilander, I recall, in that. I don't think he ever got past the quarters, though, in the singles here. 30 long. Had a great uh, Davis Cup player for, uh, for Sweden. Oh. 
Thank you. It's amazing how it goes round, doesn't it? Uh, Sweden, so many great players over all the years, in numbers too. Now, of course, they have Sodling. Not anymore. Not in this tournament, anyway. No, Sodling's out, and they don't have the numbers. Spain, France, Argentina, Serbia. Yes, European countries, America. They went last night with uh, Andy Roddick. Well, the USA have had their lowest representation in these championships in many, many years. Right on to the two-handed backhand of Murray, that second serve. Yeah, right in the hitting area there. Murray didn't even have to move. It was just there to swing through, and the ball was back past uh, Melzer before he finished his serve. Five games to three. Oh, I didn't think that was going to happen when the return of serve came back from Murray. He handled it well, Melzer. Yes, yeah, a little bit more fire from uh, Murray in those last couple of points. He lost uh, that last one, of course, with that good passing shot, but just a little bit more fire there. He's going to need that here, serving for the first set. to get a second opportunity then. The first lob was a bit short. Melza had, didn't kill the ball, but then uh, hitting it straight at Murray, forced the error. On. That's the sort of play we expect from Melzer. He does go for his ground strokes, takes big swings, and probably the best method is not going to probably win by trying to rally a long time with Murray. So, uh, going to make some errors. to before Murray looking for the passing shot down the line 15 running there early Mel's are going with the win across court see Murray comes in on the forehand always a dangerous play coming in on a opponent's forehand he paid the price Yeah. 
Murray's got a pretty good uh, record against left-handed players in 41 matches. He's only lost 10 times, and nine of those were, were against Rafael Nadal. So he's got everybody else pretty much pegged. Here. Yes, the attacking play of uh, Melzer here, all landing only halfway up the court that time. Melzer climbs on it. Looking at his uh, box there to see if he should challenge, but it was well out that ball. Come on. Oh, loopy shot out. That's, that's, challenging challenging the call. that's worth a challenge. That's closer than the previous shot, anyway. Mm. It's out. I thought it's Murray. 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 has two challenges One remaining. millimeters. At the Buzz Insurance, we know you've got a lot going on. That's why the Buzz has made it really easy to get fast and hassle-free car insurance online. With no time wasted. <laughs> If you want the right cover for you and your car, jump online and get a 60 second quote at The Buzz. Save online? Absolutely. Beautiful fish for sale. And Tom wants one. But he'll need more than that. At school, the Commonwealth Bank teaches him the virtues of saving money. And have to learn to save. Tom begins to think that a pet fish might be possible after all. Insights like these are common during school banking discussions. And soon enough, his saving skills pay off. The Commonwealth Bank knows that if kids learn how to save early on, any goal is possible. Even buying a delightful pet fish for your little sister. Who one day will complete her sweet revenge. Introducing the all-new Alfa Romeo Giulietta. So desirable. Even journalists fall in love with her. Fall in love at your nearest Alfa dealer today. Limited time only. 1,000 days no deposit interest free at Harvey Norman. It's a true blue offer with amazing deals store wide. Every category, every store. Monthly repayments and 1,000 days interest free. No deposit, no interest till October 2013. Grab this golden opportunity to freshen up at home. Update appliances, kickstart home entertainment and new computer technology. With 1,000 days no deposit interest free until 2013. But you'd better hurry. This strictly limited offer must end Australia Day. Don't miss out. Go! A workmanlike performance, really. That was the best I'd say from Murray. Um, it wasn't a great set of tennis, not, not particularly uh, any brilliant shots. It was fairly subdued, really, the start of it. As we look at the summary here, just 37 minutes. The uh, winners from Melza, 11 to 6. But also the unforced errors, uh, too many by Melza, 10 to only 2 from Murray. So a very careful uh, set 
by Andy Murray. He really did all he had to do then. Didn't uh, go for anything big. And of course Melzer, who I said, makes the running in the play. He was the man uh, either hitting winners or making mistakes. And in the end it was too many. Melzer uh, very active with uh, trying to attack and So the first set highlights here. We also hit a lot of winners and uh, Murray hit enough to win that first set. He's the favourite here of course and uh, very happy to have won the opening stanza. Good look at his backhand here. Time. Loop backswing then drops the racket down below the ball, brushes up on the ball to get the top spin, finishing with a high finish over the shoulder. Almost like a golfer's follow through in the Six end. Quickly, please. Ready for play. With a full swing. Melzer hit a lot of winners, but he hit a lot of unforced errors too. 11 winners, 10 unforced errors. Second set, Melzer to serve. Fifteen love. And he married one of just four players not to have dropped a set coming into the fourth round of the Open. for a while. 15 on. Got the three who hadn't conceded a set. Rafael Nadal, Stanislas Wawrinka and Robin Soderling. Soderling's gone. Beaten in five sets by Alexander Dolgopolov of the Ukraine. And that's who's waiting now in the quarterfinals for the winner of this match. He kept wearing uh, away at Melzer there, pushing him back, pushing him back. In the end, he finishes up near the lines. People at the back of the court here. He really gets out of position. Good play from the Scott. Out of position. He was facing the wrong way. Pass. All that hard work for no result. 13 14. Not yet, anyway.
Yes, he had a good play here. He was balanced when he played it. And uh, just a tough shot going down that line. It's so easy to just push it out. Second service. He's having trouble getting himself in the contest here. Melza as Murray breaks in the opening game of the second set, having won the first by six games to three. Yeah, so uh, Murray really just doing enough here at the moment to uh, stay in front. He's uh, just really has the Austrian on the ropes here, particularly with this uh, this last point. Wrong-footed Melzer with that big forehand, the topspin angle cross court. And Murray's supporters with a little ditty there, parad parading. Murray's propensity to drop shot to the tune of old McDonald had a farm with a drop shot here and a drop shot there. <laughs> The constructed point there. Wells are just moving Murray around, forcing him into the lob. Running him from side to side, has him at full stretch here on the backhand, and then just tucks it away. Well played. You see both hands up together. It's just like the top half of the serve, the smash. Doesn't have to be overplayed. You're always in a good position when you're smashing. Too much uh, finesse there, trying for too many things. A good drop shot, then trying the lob. So on a couple of occasions, he, he plays the drop shot, then the lob. Maybe a passing shot would be a better choice for the second shot. Just what he didn't want. Early break in the second set. Now he's spraying that last shot, puts him down three break points. More aggression from Murray. 13 14. Sometimes he does uh, get into fiddling the ball around a bit, using that touch and going a little overboard sometimes. So I'm lifting the strike rate on the forehand. Oh.
Well, we massacred that forehand. He did, and it was set up, wasn't it? It was just a mid-court forehand. If they ever played it, we could have dropped uh, 10 kilometres an hour off the shot and played it and still hit the winner. Yes. And that's what happens uh, if you don't take your opportunity when it's there. Murray comes over the 206 kilometres an hour serve. He's flattening it out to get the angle in the backhand side. Well, normally a backhand side. That, of course, is to a left-hander's forehand. Advantage <laughs> Melson. Saved now by Murray. Outburst from Melza, just illustrating the pressure that he's under, the tension he's feeling down there. intensity about these last couple of points the match yeah, to date tomorrow, hasn't yeah. developed any real drama they haven't got spectators yet on the edge of their seats more passion displayed by both players in this game that's the this some assistance there from Melza a large dose of assistance from Melza he has four break points uh, for Melza to level up but it's a huge game for him to stay in the second set after losing the first he's down an early break needed to get that break back but then a very loose shot at the end that forehand was a wild wild hit I tried to get back into it by using a sledgehammer <laughs> Murray Almost down on one knee for that winner. Love 15. Yes, again, uh, Mel's are not really doing enough with this approach shot. It's just up the middle of the court, onto the two hands. Murray bending well and didn't even have to move to that shot. Oh, wow. oh. 15 on. It's amazing the mismatch how often they're hitting the ball to one another off these easy mm. shots. Uh, they've played four times. They seem to know where the other player is going to play the ball more often than not. Well, Melza knows less often because he hasn't won one of the four matches. 15-13.
30 off. Well, that was a better approach. Obviously, had Murray on the run that time, had him at full stretch. Couldn't really control the ball with that uh, that reach. Well, the net court didn't uh, help Mels's chances here. It just sits up so easy for Murray. He actually takes his time this time, allows Mels to move into the backhand court, into the second court. Murray challenging the court. Right past the line. Ball was closing. And it was quite comfortably. Yes. Murray has two challenges remaining. 25 millimetres. It's not a lot, but it's enough. Well, that's a real poor shot there, that short backhand and game point, he's down to break a serve in the second set. Can't afford to throw away the points like that one. over the net, that one. Melzer with a slice forehand and sliding into the ball that time. It was a real defensive forehand. But he won the point on the mistake. Next for service. Down a set and down a break. Murray, Murray leading two one. games Second to one. one. Yeah. Well, that was a huge game for uh, Jurgen Melzer to uh, hold serve there. Two breaks down would uh, really have kissed the second set goodbye, and uh, coming back from two sets to love down would have been a huge task against uh, Andy Murray. But uh, by holding serve there, he's kept himself in touch. Murray's still uh, just struggling. He's playing some good tennis, but then throwing in a lot of uh, few mis few mistakes as well. And he's had the opportunity to get that uh, that break, but the uh, unforced error is really hurting Melzer. He's had 15 in the match, and there's just four from Murray. And Murray just playing a very uh, steady match and letting this man here unwind, if you like, or unravel. So the uh, number one Austrian player is having trouble coming to grips here with uh, the Scotsman Andy Murray.
Right, please. Uh, despite the whole Thank serve you. last time around, maybe uh, that'll inspire him to bigger things. Sun blazing again. Fortunately for Melzer, he doesn't have to serve from that southern end at the moment. Love. Well, another wild forehand. Jeez, he's uh, hit a lot of those. He's really teeing up on the ball and just taking the pressure right off Murray by making those mistakes. Mills is just snatching at the backhand, not really taking his time. He to get in position early, then take time to play the shot. It was all a bit rushed. These two players have both had the advantage of a retirement of one of their opponents on their way to uh, the last 16. Murray against Carol Beck had a shoulder problem, retired 4-2 in the third set. Murray then went on to defeat Ilya Machenko in straight sets. And, uh, I'm sorry, Guillermo Garcia Lopez. Three one. Yes, it's really been an ideal uh, preparation for the second week for Andy Murray, whose uh, on seed, seeded performance is expected to win. He's seeded five here, Mer Melzer 11. So he hasn't lost a set, and if he can win this match, he'll be nice and fresh, but match tough for the quarterfinals and on. Knowles has defeated the French qualifier Vincent Nilo in straight sets and then Perry Reba before the retirement of Marcos Bagdatis in their third round match. Oh. Well, there's the control of the ball that Murray has. He it's a wonderful feel, that high backhand volley. Not trying to play it as a hard shot, just angles the ball away. We'll see it particularly well here on this shot. Just angles the ball away with Melzer well behind the baseline. 15-13. Well, he's really struggling 
to stay in touch, Melza. Oh! Gonna challenge this call, is he? Had a hard look, but no. The lob was too short, but it was a good idea. Lobbing high into the sun. Left-hander uh, Melzer facing the sun that time, and that was a good play, but it was just way too short. The lob bounced inside the surface court, so Melzer had plenty of time to set up for that, but anything deeper could have been a problem. Side of the bed this morning. Advantage to Murray. Yes, it's just not a comfortable match for him. He's uh, sets it all up here and then uh, makes that error on the last shot. It didn't bounce back and crack him in the nose. Bit of desperation, I think, by Melzer. We'll see. He's got it right <laughs> by two millimeters. I think he was uh, as surprised as everybody else. Advantage, Murray. Yes, with that close, he had to have a go at the challenge. That would have put him two breaks down in this set. So. Had to go for it and uh, and won the challenge. Great point. Both of them working to the limit, stretched to the limit. Some tremendous forehands from Murray, retrieved and put back in play by Melzer. Advantage Murray. Yes, I'd have to say that's the best point of the match so far. Uh, it's a really good uh, attacking play by Murray. 
and uh, finishes it off with a big reach there on the smash, just tucks it away. Mills are defending valiantly at the high quality point there. Fourth break point in this match, in this game rather, for Murray to put him up a double break in the second set. Bell's a little bit flat, Melzer thinks. He'd be a little bit flat after that. Double break of serve for Andy Murray, who leads a set and 4-1. One rather a dejected uh, Jürgen Melzer there. Two breaks down, one set to love down. And uh, Murray just edging him out, really. It's not a the score line's 4 1, but uh, we haven't seen uh, a lot of great points in the match up to this point. Probably uh, one of the better rallies it was in that last game when Murray really hit the forehand very hard, had Melzer on the run. Well, he's out of sorts and uh, almost out of time in this second set, Jürgen Melzer. He seems to have run out of ideas. Time. It's all one-way traffic at the moment in favour of uh, the number five seed, Andy Murray. And for all of the good results and the great tennis that Melzer has played in the uh, the last 12 months to get his ranking up to number 11 in the world, he's been unable to produce it so far here today on Rod Laver Arena. Six three four one, Murray in control. I think from Murray's point of view uh, so far in the match he hasn't been overly impressive either he's uh, he's doing enough to be well on top now but uh, we'll need to lift for later rounds in the tournament Let's the service It's one of the better points we've seen, a very aggressive first serve, getting the short return, then hitting the forehand hard, a little bit of fire there. Remember how well he played last year to get to the final against Roger Federer, really thought he had a great chance to win that match. 13-15. He thought, and uh, was very disappointed when he lost in straight sets to a really brilliant Federer. There's the slice serve, working so well for the players this week, that one in the first court. We've got to have that slice serve working here at Melbourne Park. Okay, Murray. Murray. Gosh. Tremendous serving from Andy Murray. To go to 5 1. Murray leads 5 games to 1. Yeah, it's a much better game there from Murray. A little bit more um, effort in the points, in the serve. Picked the power up. Served a couple of aces in this game and really dominated. That's what we expect, expected, really. Murray to do a little more. So he's picked up the attack here it seems and 
Well, the break would be nice. He'd serve then first in the third set. Fifteen off. <laughs> really gets round here. It's a terrific inside out forehand there. Whips up the back of the ball, gets the uh, spin. Well, they've both hit 17 winners. In the match, Melzer and Murray, but uh, Mills has got three times the unforced error rate of the Scotsman. Fifteen forty. Two set points for a lead of two sets to love. And second set, Murray. That's it. Cruising. Andy six Murray. Two sets to love. 6-3, 6-1. Six, three, six, one. We're into the semis. 3 a.m. tomorrow. The Aussies take on Uzbekistan. Just one win away from a place in the final. Australia, Uzbekistan. Only on Fox Sports. Australia's sports leader. For me, having a connection is what brings us together. Connecting with a real person about my insurance? Well, that's for me too. QBE. For me, for sure. A new event in Volvo history has begun with free on-road costs across the entire Volvo range. Welcome to the Volvolution sale. Sale ends January 31st. Sony Music presents Flood Relief. Artists from around the world have united to support Flood Relief. Songs that define the power of the human spirit. The courage, hope and friendship. Flood Relief. We're all in this together. It's on now. Nights and prints for nine days. Only at your Harvey Norman Photo Center. That's right. Digital 6x4 inch prints for just nine cents each. Don't miss out. No limits in store and online. Nine cent digital prints on now with no limits. Empty your memory card today. Hurry. Must end Monday, January 31. Don't miss out. We don't just match prices on photos. We smash prices on photos. Nine cent prints for nine days only. Now at Harvey Norman. Why print anywhere else? Yeah! Sony Music presents Flood Relief. Songs that define the power of the human spirit. Flood Relief. We're all in this together. And so Andy Murray just, I think, lifting his game a little. Mel's are getting a little more frustrated as we look at the, uh, the summary here. 38 minutes only for that set. And uh, unforced errors, Mel's are nine the amount of Murray and uh, Murray had more winners too so that's uh, but serving percentage is not really taking any real play in this uh, match uh, both over 60 percent that's pretty good but it's really been the errors of uh, Mills or I think it's been the story of the match uh, so far and Murray becoming a little bit more aggressive as we can see by these highlights Murray might be aggressive in his play, but uh, Mills is a bit aggressive too. Yes, a lot of frustration <laughs> there uh, with his game. He had a couple of points set up, missed the easy ones, but the Scott now uh, well on top in this match. He cruised through the end of that second set. Here's a real slow-mo of his serve. You can see he gets Same. a good high ball toss, good rotation of the shoulders. You can see his back is almost uh, to the facing the net there. 
both arms up, stays up nice and tall, looking up at the ball, so he keeps his head up as he serves. That's it. Throws the racket up Murray and over. And a good rotation there with the shoulder. Well, he's leading two sets to love, and he's got the advantage of serving first that ready? Thank in you. the third set. Net, net for service. This time Mel's are putting it all together. He makes the opening and then finishes it off with the winner. We have seen him make mistakes when he's had the openings, but not that time. Good disguise from Mills at that time. Murray looking for the forehand cross court, so the Austrian catching him out with the backhand down the line. Elsa is challenging the call, the service line, Bo was called in. Looked pretty good. Early time to challenge, too. First game of a set. 212 kilometres per hour the serve, and that's well in. 15-13. <laughs> Wasn't his best challenge. Wow. Elsa has two challenges remaining. What a waste. First game of a set. <laughs> Just another illustration of the frustration for Melza. Had four break points on Murray's serve in the second game of the previous set without uh, managing to get the break. and it was uh, a poor way for it to finish for Melzer. Still a break point for Melzer. throwing his hands up there in frustration. He can't believe it. Hi. He's not going to challenge. Oh, He's not going to waste one. At this not point. Wa waste another one. That's right. But 
foolishly challenging that earlier call which was well in he's now down to two incorrect calls challenges two incorrect challenges so he can't afford to waste one here so early in the set Advantage Murray, 216 kilometres per hour. Bigger serve of the match for Murray on a big point. Well, a wicked cross court forehand and two. Superlative serves, save Murray, and he holds serve in the opening game of the third set. Andy Murray certainly picked up his service uh, in these last couple of games. He served uh, last couple of service games. He served uh, two aces in both of the both of them, and uh, really has uh, lifted the pace in that area. And. He'll be really concentrating hard now to win this in straight sets uh, to go through the quarterfinals without dropping a set in the tournament. It's been a good workout up to now. He's won the last five games. Well, he hit a forehand, cross-court forehand in that last game that um, just left Mel's a non-plus. Doubles here, Mills. Well, the way things are shaping, that might be his best chance of the title. Plays with the, the German player Philipp Petschner. They won the Wimbledon doubles title together last year. Oh! Petschner. Petschner, a very good player too. Uh, they surprised the Bryan brothers at Wimbledon. They were the favourites, as uh, is often the case. A lot, of, a lot of handy prize money to be picked up if you can play good doubles as well as singles. Portillo. Ah. 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 Great shot. Fourteen fifty. That stand and delivery just ripped that backhand for a winner. Here it is again. What angle? Fourteen thirty. We've seen this in the match where Mel's has had leads in good leads in some of the games, and then a uh, couple of big shots and a loose shot from. Melzer and all of a sudden he's in trouble so he needs this point Yes, he's had those uh, games where he's had uh, quite a lead and then just fritted away a couple of points, a couple of, and a good shot from Murray, and all of a sudden he's been in trouble. So, it was an important hold.
15 long. I well, tried to switch from the backhand side to the forehand Melzer and uh, found the tape. Yes, yeah, it's been interesting to watch Murray now if he really focuses well. He needs to put his man away. See what sort of form he's in. Well, Melza looks as though the whole world's against him. It's just thinking that every call now he's sort of questioning one way or another, either with a long look or... He feels like uh, he's being hard done by on just about every point at the moment. Murray on his serve seems to have a little habit of dropping his head when before he swings through and that tends to pull the ball down into the net serving a number of balls into the net today I think not staying up with the serve staying tall I bet you Jürgen Mills, I can't see the humour in this. Now Billy Connolly's enjoying himself though, isn't he? You saw a quick shot there of him. from Murray, two games to one, Murray leads two games Third to set. one, Third set. No, two sets alone. Yeah, so Murray lifting his game there, I was interested to see uh, how he went about this and it was a, a very good game for him, very positive, he wants to stay on top now as I said, uh, he wins it, win this in straight sets, uh, it's a great start to the the really big matches to come up, the quarterfinals, the next stop on Wednesday. And uh, it'll be a big one for, big for him. He has to put his man away here. Murray, uh, you mentioned Bill Bowery, spent some years on the clay courts in Spain. That Spanish connection still there, of course. Alex Carreja, who was one of those Spanish players that uh, bedeviled Australia in Davis Cup ties going back uh, 8 or 10, 12 years ago. He, uh, he's still working from time to time with Andy Murray. So, uh, the Spaniard in the corner of uh, Andy Murray. And, the Swede in the corner of Jürgen Melzer. Two of the players that uh, were an adornment to what Australian Open Championships in the past. Kovetsa and Joachim Nistrum. Love the team. Murray just picking the pace up a little now in these last few games. Forcing the error with the speed of shot. Love 13. That's a poor shot from Melzer at this stage, just a, 
Not a great forehand, just halfway up the court, no real speed, and Mills has made the mistake to put himself under the pump again here. There. Yeah, that's what he yeah, likes, yeah, yeah. but he's just had so few opportunities to do it. Ah. <laughs> Hell's the thing of slamming that's the racket down looking. again that time. He's uh, the drop shot manoeuvred Murray out of position. He had the backhand cross court, I guess, the opening there. Made the mistake. Yes. And that's a challenge in the ball on the left near side line. Well, he can challenge all he likes, but uh, I'll be very surprised if it's not out. By a long way. Game Murray. Murray leads three against the one. Slippery slope here for uh, the Austrian. Yeah, just a frustrated challenge there from uh, Melzer. It was... I guess he had to do it. That was a vital break. Two sets to love down. A break up in the third. Or a break down the third if you're looking at it from Mel's point of view. Murray serving. I have to say, I watched the match with uh, Melzer in Baghdad the other night, and uh, Melzer certainly played better than this. He was very sharp against Baghdad till he forfeited with a bad hand. 15 on. Well, this is not necessarily a different Jurgen Melzer that we're seeing today, it's an indifferent Jurgen Melzer. The Aces toll continues to mount for Murray ten times now. He's come up with a clean winner on serve. Twenty-five total winners, only ten unforced errors for the Scotsman. Forty fifteen. Wow. It's two a game now. Aces. The last three service games from Murray, three, at least two aces a game. Game Murray. Three. Incredible serving in that game from Murray. 4 1 the lead in Murray the third set and two sets to low. Melzer is uh, doing it tough. He is, and here's his first serve uh, 
return balls there. He's serving uh, into the corners. Uh, you can see there, particularly down the middle. And uh, trying to get that swinging serve working there. And the second serve, the unreturned. Well, they're all coming back, aren't they? The return serves are in the pink there, and they're all, they're all coming back. No real penetration from Melzer, but plenty of penetration from uh, Murray. He's serving at least two, that time three aces in that last game. Same. Well, Andy Murray has not been forced to produce anything like his best he's doing enough to keep his Austrian uh, counterpart here closed down Just melts can eliminate those unforced errors and uh, affect a radical turnaround here. He's going to be closed right out of the match shortly. Fifteen. Yes, it'll be interesting to see sort of how much heart he's got here. He's well out of the match at the moment, and uh, if there's much fight left in the Austrian. Fifteen thirteen. Serving to the forehand and coming to the net uh, can be a recipe for disaster. As we saw then, Murray very strong on that side. Lots of options. Fifteen fourteen. So not a real uh, dig deep shot that one, uh, just a un quick unforced error. That's That's it. It. Now we've gone for another racket. Just working a string. I was only saying yesterday, uh, all the matches I've watched in this tournament, that's the first string I've seen broken and yet uh, it was only a, a few years ago that we saw players breaking strings all the time yes. and trying to play points with a broken string which they'd play very carefully and so there's been a big improvement in the stringing of the rackets. Say so that's the area in the technology that's improving is the strings. The racket they can't do a lot with now. There's dimensions that the racket has to adhere to. As far as length and width, materials can be changed. But the stringing is now an improvement. Too good. Murray, double break for Andy Murray. Murray leads five games to one. And uh, Melzer is well and truly on the skid. Yes, this one, uh, again in the hitting area for, Mel uh, for Murray, makes good ground, makes the angle and hits the winner. Well, he's had limited opportunity to show his wares in this match, Murray. Not really extended by Melzer at any point. Good 
15 long now. And Nick Mills is just keen now to get off the court at uh, drop shot. A wasted opportunity to win the point. Second service. Just from Murray's point of view, he has to stay focused with and he makes sure he puts his man away here. <laughs> there was plenty of focus in that forehand. There was. <laughs> As we all know, you can't make the victory speech before the final point. I think he'd be warming up for his press conference now, probably. Game and ace to finish it off.